Okay, so here we are. Alright. Um, what we're doing now is uh, we're going to go ahead and pick out some of the smaller details. So we're going to go ahead and paint this guy here gold. But I want to show you a pretty cool technique. Hold on, sorry. Dude, can you turn the music down? Oh, the other button. There you go. So, uh, yeah, uh, okay, so what I wanted to, uh, talk about was, um, uh, the gold. Okay, so this, this, uh, you know, it's like a tiger or a lion or something on the top of this, uh, Bretonian helmet here. It's going to be gold. But what we're going to do is we're going to paint it. Uh, yellow first and it doesn't matter what yellow you paint it I'm gonna go ahead and use um, foundation so oh my gosh that is one well used can of foundation paint check that out it's gloppy okay which is kinda what we want for this now, as you can see, I'm not taking a whole lot of care with it because mostly uh, I'm just getting the high spots on the um, uh, tiger, so I'm not trying to fill in really all of the scales and stuff. The reason why the high spots are most important is because that's usually the part that uh, black may just faintly show through if you just apply gold to it and so rather than apply gold three times and make it really thick and lose detail um, we'll just apply uh, yellow once and then and then so here's a you know a little trick here Look at that. Big heavy metal miniatures. Probably need to bust out some new poster tack, but uh, there it is. And then while we're at it, we might as well I'll water this down a hair since it is a bit thick. I'll look at all the other areas that I wish to paint gold, you know, the larger areas. For one, we'll want the sword here. You know, this whole area, we'll want to paint that. I think I'm going to change this pommel to gold. Nah, the silver contrasts with the uh, flame lining here, so I'm going to leave that silver. If he had normal black armor or even silver armor, that would definitely be gold. But since we're going for, uh, you know, this flamed armor look, we need contrast you know likewise that is why we're doing the trim and the chaos symbols and stuff uh, silver rather than gold so that's basically it for that gold trick um, it just makes gold come out a little a little nicer particularly if you're going to use bright gold which I am going to use uh, Reaper bright gold for the gold on this guy because I'm also going to stain it afterwards which I'll show you and it, it looks the brighter the gold the better when it's stained if you ask me uh, but we'll check it out in a minute okay so to maximize time while you're waiting for one thing to dry on the miniature it's a good idea to paint some uh, a different part of the miniature since this is a big heavy metal miniature the poster tack's not really working out for me so I'm going to go back to what I'm used to anyway which is uh, hold on I'm right handed so uh, better clip it with the left right so I'll go back to using the little the little clip uh, 
little clamp thing. You can get these. These have loads of spray paint on them. But uh, you can get these uh, several different hardware stores and stuff. Usually they're uh, about 99 cents a piece. Um, if you're going to use them to hold your bases like this, try to use the ones that you have that still have the little rubber tip thing on there. This one still does, uh, as you can see. Um, however, like this one doesn't, and this one will chip your paint, pull, you know, uh, uh, crunch your rocks off of your uh, base and stuff. Hey, how's it going? Um, so anyway, while we're waiting for that yellow to totally dry, we're going to take our miniature. Now you can, again, I know I've said this before, you can follow along with this. I know this miniature is hard to obtain now, but you can follow along uh, with a Chaos Warrior, just a plastic Chaos Warrior, or uh, some other miniature that's similar to this, you know, with chainmail and lots of armor and stuff. Um, it doesn't have to be this guy. So, anyway, while we're waiting for that yellow to dry, we're going to um, do the chain mail. Now, this I am actually dry brushing. Yes, with a fine detail Kalinsky brush, which is kind of stupid, but um, we went through all the trouble to do all that flame lining. We don't want to mess it up. So, basically, what I'm doing that you can't see is over here I'm dipping into my paint pot Vallejo chain mail to put on the chain mail imagine that and I'm just wiping a little bit of the paint off here on the edge before I apply it to the miniature oh that's a little too dry so I will actually take the paint right from where I wiped it off still too dry okay these lights are kinda hot um, so there we go. It's kind of a bump the camera. It's kind of a, forgot what I was going to say. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say it's kind of irritating to have your, your paint dry between here and there, but you actually want that because it will speed you up. You don't have to sit here and literally, you know, you've heard that expression, watch paint dry. Well, when your work area is cold, which I used to live in Oregon, uh, and it was cold there, so I had to literally, when I was working on a single miniature like this, watch the paint dry. Um, so now, while that's drying, just to give our, our, uh, yellow a little bit more time to dry even though it is probably dry and by the way I couldn't find anything that I wanted to paint gold on the shield so there was nothing to say there I'm gonna go ahead and paint the bags um, on his belt Dark Angels Green okay so he's got one here. And make sure we kind of stab the tip of the brush into the hole in the pouch. Okay, and he's got another one. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, should be able to. Tucked right back here. Now this is difficult for me because I'm looking over this camera. I really, yeah, I'm getting it on the flesh there. I need to get a newer camera for these type, this type of video. But uh, I'm gonna have to wait till uh, get paid for a big commission or something. Um. So there you have it. And now I think it would be safe to revisit what we wanted to paint gold. And so shake up my paint here.